So I hope you guys enjoyed the video yesterday about the marbles race underwater. Froyo did a really good job of creating uh, a masterpiece, and I really want to try doing a marbles race like this myself with uh, my own creation. It got me thinking uh, when I was speaking to my editor, who I just hired full time, by the way. I hope you guys enjoy the videos the way he's editing it. It must be crazy seeing what I've got up my sleeve every day, but I hope you guys enjoy the daily videos regardless. Let's get right into it and see how these little 2v2 games go. Before we get into the video, I'd also like to let you guys know that there's actually a giveaway happening on my Twitter right now. All you have to do is retweet and follow the post and you'll be entered for the giveaway. I'm giving away one of the Mendoza Pro wheels that came from RLCS Season 9. Unfortunately, the event didn't happen, but Psyonix sent us the codes anyway, so I have an extra pair and I thought I'd give it away to you guys. The link will be the first link in the description. You gotta make sure you enter before Wednesday the 6th at 12 p.m. Eastern. I'll be drawing the winner at that time and announcing on Twitter. Best of luck. All right, so we're pretty close into the top 100 once again in 2v2. I don't really touch it too often. I usually play only on stream. I haven't really done a video on this in two months, I would say. We're pretty close, actually. Uh, we're at 1916, and the top 100 spot is 1944. So let's get some games in, see if we can get some Ws, and hopefully push towards the top 100. All right, we got our first game. We got uh, a 1525 and a 1730. Not too bad. We got Process on our team. It was an 1800. It looks like the 1525 might be a Smurf. Missed the boost. Should make make it for a, a little bit easier for me to score there. Yeah, he's really stuck in that weird position. Maybe he's not a smurf. <laughs> a good pop. Should be pluses. <laughs> These names though. Oh, it's fine. Oh, he side flipped. And there it is. That was an uh, awkward play. I was trying to take the control of the ball in the, in the net there, but my teammate could have taken it across too. He's out the ball here. I don't really want to challenge too early. There we go. Nice finish. So not the highest level of lobbies for the first game, but hopefully uh, they step it up a little bit. He might touch this mid. He missed. Nice and high on this. Pinch it with my teammate, maybe. I'll just take it then, I guess. There it is. Just flick it really hard to the left side. I wanted to maybe pinch with my teammate, but he was kind of facing as if I was going to pass it. Oh, what a double. Oh my god. That could be a goal too. That was a really good touch. I didn't expect that. Maybe touch it again. So he's turning. I'll just hit this off the wall and stay with it. They get a high 50-50. He didn't go high enough to block it. Or he went too high, I guess. Should be plus his ball. He ends up throwing it away with his flick. Makes it pretty awkward for him to control. It's a good bump though. Could be a goal. Good save. with this. Oof! No, oh, it didn't work out. Probably shoot it though. There's the finish. Nice. So we have all the pressure. They had a few opportunities. They just didn't finish. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was. Pass this bit again. Back into me? Oh, it's open. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. I think we're going to move on to the next game uh, and see where we get who we get for the next opponents. All right, so we got a bit of a lower level lobby here again. Um, not too bad of a teammate, though. 16, 1685. Haven't heard of any of these guys before. Um, see how it goes. Get over the one. Oh, almost a shot. I'm going to fake this. Should be my teammate's goal here. Uh, whoever was in net there didn't really prepare for the next touch. He needs to jump up right in the way, right away to get the ball out of the way of the shot. On the goal. I'll stay with it. Get over the one. Should be a shot. Close. Still works. I, I mean, it ended up being in a good position because that, that clear wasn't that great. But I, I made sure not to shoot on target right there. I wanted to pass it across, make it a good opportunity for my teammate. And then I could just follow up on the cleanup. If uh, he ends up getting a better clear to the side, I can just collect in the corner. Drop off him off the wall. Close on the shot. Good challenge. He's very low. He's very zero, like very very low boost there. Pretty much zero, I think. And I'm able to get the free goal. Uh, the, it's not a great touch by Lazarus. He probably could have taken control off the sidewall and dribbled it. Don't be afraid to uh, dribble the ball a lot more, especially in twos. I'm gonna get beat here. I shouldn't wait for that. 
Just wait for him to flick it or something. Just want to get wait for my teammate to be, get behind me first. I'm not going to be able to make this. I really should probably stop boosting. Nice. There we go. That worked out. I wasn't sure if my teammate had a second ball, but or a second touch on that ball. But not too bad. I keep getting low level, these low level lobbies. I thought it would be better at 530, but you no, know, here we are after super long queues. So basically, I can push up on this touch. He wants the boost instead. It's fine. Pop it up left. He's nowhere near the ball. Should be a nice pop to the side as well. Yeah, it gave me a lot of space on that shot uh, from that challenge because the other guy on the left, he he moved away for his back corner, which allows me to move up and just take a, a chip. It may not always be a goal, but it still it still gives me the shot opportunity. All right, let's see if he challenges right away. He's not, so I'm gonna pop it over the one. It's a decent try. A bit of a throw away by the opponent. He's trying to go again, but it's not a big deal. A bit of a throwaway by my teammate as well, but hopefully we can make something of it. Close. Good control. Bit of a loss of control at the end, but it's no big deal. I'll stay in front. I ended up running out of boost before I could get the next touch. There we go. Just use the space I have to take advantage and a nice little flick the guy wasn't really sure if he wanted to challenge or not if he did if he did just challenge he probably would have beat me uh in that situation because i had no boost but i just tried to posture in a position where it scares him off the ball a little bit i could pop over he has very low boost so i'm just trying to keep keep an eye on that oh he missed the, he missed the goal watching demos behind me here it's a good rush could be a goal too I didn't expect the guy to have any boost after he made that, that challenge. That was pretty bad by me. I could, could have been more available in mid. We Seb's touch here again. Okay, that's the throw away by the opponent. Should give us some good pressure. He's gonna pop over the one, two. Close. He missed the ball and it's open. <laughs> we take those. So hopefully we can get a win here and then move even closer to uh, top 100. Get little matching crosses. That's that's cute. I just noticed that. I don't even know how I didn't notice that before. Take that ball for. I mean, take the boost from him. Should have waited for the, uh, the half volley chance. No reason to throw that out. Same with this guy. All this is just throw away. This happens a lot at like low GC. Cause these touches that just uh, just kind of give the ball away. You don't really get a shot opportunity or anything from it. It's a good save. Shoot that far side. What a steal. I mean goal secure. Yeah, just you want to make sure that if you've moved it down the field and haven't got a shot opportunity, you probably messed up somewhere. So we're not moving up the ranks too fast here. We've only got four points from that game, so we're at 1949. All right, now we're getting to some higher level lobbies here. We got Sopist against Kings, another cross, <laughs> and Aqua. Let's we'll see how this game goes. There we go. Good control. To be a decent touch. I clear it to my teammate. Teammate's gonna try and challenge in the corner, which could be dangerous for us because they get free possession. I gotta have to deal with a 1v2 now. Is that a bit hard though, which gives me the opportunity to score. This is a very common thing that people do in solo queue is challenge in the corner like that. You gotta be really careful. Just find your openings when you can and just take a shot if you can. Or just get a clear. Let your uh, ball chasing teammate, you know, head back a bit. It's a de decent try. My teammate's gonna go again. Uh, it's fine. I don't want to go for this yet. I'm gonna waste all my boosts. I'm just gonna force him out. My teammate has some room to make a challenge. It's decent. Maybe we can get a demo or something. Wasn't sure if he's gonna touch that or not. Get around him. It's gonna be uh, Aqua's catch. Good try. To be around the one. Oh, good try. I should have just shot that originally. That first shot would have been probably powerful enough. If I'm being honest. I'm going to take this boost so he doesn't get a 100 boost. And just take a shot. See what he does. This will be another free shot for my teammate. A loop behind. There we go. It's a good, uh, good idea to pop that super high. They actually panic because they're both sitting in net. They both push into the net. King should have been the one to go backward there in prep. And then they ended up 
both flopping around the wall. It's really good, really good idea. There we go. Probably could have taken that boost if I wanted. I popped it across. I think that's a waste boost positioning a little bit. So we're on the one. There's a nice 50. So what I do there is a, just a bit of a delay on the air dribble. It gives me room to uh, work with and force Kings into a spot where he has to challenge me. So I keep the ball nice and low and just back, put my back like a turtle to the uh, the back of the ball. Ends up shielding the ball and then popping it into his net. Alright, there's a decent 50 on the kickoff. Pop this down if I can. Makes it really awkward for them. Just give me King's ball here. Nice. I'm gonna leave here. Nice kill. I was gonna say that's probably in, but it works out. It was a really good, really good idea. I realize I probably shouldn't take that boost. Oh, he just goes. Okay. Okay. That was a bit scary. I'll pop it up nice and high just to get a flick. It's really close. He could challenge. Makes it awkward for them. He'll flick it again. Oh, I pinched off my teammate. That's the last thing I expected. I thought he was just going to let it flick out to me because uh, Kings is probably just going to make a touch that floats to me, but uh, Soap tried to get in the way. In doing so, it makes it really awkward. He also missed the boost back there. So I'm just going to get behind him. It's a decent hit. Get in the way a little bit. I can go backboard. My teammate went too. I could have got like, a decent clear to give us some space, but... Instead, uh, instead he took the ball and hit it towards the ceiling. I'm just gonna get a decent clear so we can get time for boost. Now it's Soap's wall. Good pop. Good 50. I didn't expect that. There we go. Nice. I didn't expect it to be uh, popped out like that. It looked like the opponent was gonna get a better 50 50 than that. The way that he turned into it. But it pinched mid and then I was able to get a quick shot. I'm gonna miss. Oh god. <laughs> Rough. Good challenge. It works out. I gotta touch here before he can and then put it behind him. I didn't get the uh, the foot piece that I wanted. Or at all, actually. It's a good first touch. Good second touch, too. That's a really good controlled touch to uh, pop it off the wall. Right here. Let's see it. Oh, that pinched out really weird. <laughs> that first touch is really good and he's able to control really, really fast. So we're at 1937, and uh, we're pretty close to top 100 if we get enough points for the next match. So hopefully this last match pops us into top 100, and that'll be the end of the video. Oof, I don't know if this will be enough points. We'll see. Has to be uh, at least seven. But got Kings on our team this time. See, me jumping there actually gets me the boost instead of him. So I'm able to stay with this. Maybe get a 50 on him. Close. If you jump on those, uh, those touches, I'll pop it around him. If you jump on those ball uh, on the boost, you'll actually get the uh, the boost first. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Close. We're both in the corner. I'll try to pinch it across. Didn't work out. I'll just move out of the way here. Oh. It's a good challenge. Should be my teammate. Oh, nope. He wanted to bump me instead. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, he, he had the boost advantage there, so he's able to uh, make a play. Pop it off the corner, maybe just pop it off. Oh, I tried to get towards the net there. Didn't work out. This game's been a bit strange so far. Ouch. So just cap, just put it back to Kings. Can we take control? Juice isn't going to challenge quite yet. There's no reason for him to. It's a good catch. To be able to stay with this. I am dead though. So hopefully we spawn in time. That's good. Pop that over to Kings. Nice, good dunk. It's a bit awkward at the start. My brain couldn't even handle what I was trying to say while I was trying to think of where to where to position. Going for boost. That's good to call. He has a hundred boost, the other guy has zero, so hopefully he can just challenge. It's a good challenge. Interesting. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's a strategy, I guess. <laughs> Pop it over the one. Maybe I can get a 50 here. It's a good catch. This guy likes to dribble a lot, I've noticed. I knew that that bump was coming through, so I was trying to get in the way of the ball still. Probably could have uh, taken more control on that side touch, like the side wall touch, instead of uh, shooting it down the field. This guy likes to air dribble every ball. <laughs> it's not a very good strategy, because if you just do the same thing every time, it's going to be readable. It's a good save. Have it cleared on the field. Purely touch. Could be a block. Pop it back to my teammate, maybe. It's gonna be an awkward 50. Put it between the two players. Should be open for him. Alright, so just made a little bit of a pop to put it in mid. I don't know where the other opponent went. Uh, he really should have probably been in net. I think maybe he thought Juice was gonna get a touch. They're, they're grouped together, though. A decent 50. He's gonna be low here. Let's take that back corner. I'm gonna stay close. I don't want to use too much boost because my teammate was still getting boost. It's a decent try on shooting. That guy's gonna be low, so he's probably gonna try and follow. Never mind. Let's try on that. It's gonna be Juice's ball again. Good demo. Be able to pop it over him. Can't do too much more though. Decent try. It's a little bit dangerous though. Let's try the bump. He's gonna be very low. I shouldn't take that mid. If he was gonna do that, I should have taken the back corner. So right, my teammates should have it. It's a decent clear. Mid should spawn again soon. There it is. Pop it over the one. Justin will have it. Oh. Interesting. Stay with this ball if I can. To be clear. He has the positional advantage if he goes, which is good. There we go. Nice. The juice was a bit too slow on the ball there. Obviously. I think he turned a bit too wide in the corner before making the challenge. He was conflicted between getting the boost or or taking the ball. It's a good demo. There we go. Juice might touch this, which is fine. He's been doing that a little bit where he he fakes the touch on the ball and just goes for the boost or, or the bump or something. It's not that threatening if you just uh, cover the ball. Let's go with that guy. He's going to have the ball here. It's fine. Works out. I'm dead. Should be a doomsday dish maybe? Oh, it's too far out. Nice try though. Wait for his double. Nice bump on him. Close. Try to pop it over him. Maybe come around the ball here. Oh! It's a good clear. Could be a shot here. A little challenge that early. Kimi didn't want to jump for that. That's fine. This guy only goes for air dribbles, <laughs> like I said. Gonna bump this guy out of the way. Try to take a shot. Not for the strongest shot. But it'll work out. I'm gonna go back corner. I see my teammate taking the mid boost. Okay, he didn't take the mid boost. I thought he was going to go for another air dribble again. <laughs> and uh, it's in our net, in their net. So that might be the end of the game there. If they play it the last few seconds, no, no big deal. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully we get enough points to make top 100 here. So we got exactly seven points, like I said we would need. Let's see if we actually got the top 100 spot. If not, uh, I might have to play another one. <laughs> Let's go. Scrub Killer just got in the top 100 and uh, it ended up moving up to 1943. So that means if we refresh. Yep, there we go. <laughs> bye bye, Scrub Killer. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. We're definitely going to be doing more of a climb in the top 100 uh, in 2v2. And as far as the Road to Rank 1 series goes for 1v1, I'm not really sure what I want to do with it right now. Um, people are saying that it, it'll take way too long if I do these three game episodes. So I might do some of these 1v1 games on stream in the future. Uh, so I haven't really touched the series yet. So there might be an episode on Road to Rank 1 and 1v1 tomorrow if I get around to it and I figure out what I want to do with the series. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.